Saya with the blast pack beak. Able to take him down. Oh, what? what? Something through the smoke. Comes down to sharp shooting. They know the angles. Something's prepared whoa, 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 whoa. for it. Steps back onto Izu's head. He's gonna hear the footsteps, so. Less oh, good. what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Something with the swing just. The is just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and the first one to walk out onto the stage. Take center. Of course, the return of Jing. How will this all fit in? Will Paper X be returning to top form? I mean, of course, you know, another team that we're thinking about is still Gen G with how well they have performed in the past few months. T1 right up next to them. The crowd is already just cheering for Jing's uh, yeah, return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's unreal. I, I mean, he is the best raise in the world, in my opinion, because of the way he plays it. It can it can snowball, it can snowball a bit. Cam check out fast. Okay. <laughs> just starting things off with a bit of that lurk, a bit of a re peek and two kills. Allows for something to play around the positions. You got Jing ready with the paint shells as well. This this is a good setup. It could be red. I mean, this is kind of what Paper X likes to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you meant. All right, Forsaken. He's on for the ace. Okay. He's got the quad. But it's just round three. T1's trying to play it safe, trying to do what they can do. But then Forsaken just comes up from behind. This is the same ish debut that we saw from Paper Rex last year. That could really change the dynamic. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! It doesn't quite connect. Side player in a bit of a tricky position right now as Forsaken hunkers down. Watches out over onto Pillar and captures onto two more players. It's uh, happening again. I think x Curit has a decent idea <laughs> that his brother's doing this. All right, all right. Well, I want to see how yep. Forsaken can if does he check it. Do you know what your brother's doing? Or is it going to be a pink mist? I mean, they got time to really make sure that they're set up. Kind of come from all three angles at once. Ooh! Unbelievable. One shot, one kill. Now on to the next. And he's online for the ace. Rossi's right around the edge of it, and Forsaken just sprays downtown. Unbelievable. What a, what a game he's already having. 11 kills in five rounds. Forsaken goes back in for a bit of adventure on his own. Uses the cyber cage to set up the spy camera. <laughs> Does not expect his brother on the other side. He only spotted it, went in for the, the camera tag. The rest of the team, though, has already made their way in, but because of the smokes, Cyan player able to take down Jing, something in for a bit of a trade. Two players remaining. You've got Noted, you've got the Blade Storm. Oh my. Comes down to sharp shooting. They know the angles. Something's prepared for it. Steps back onto Izu's head. Excrete waiting for the door to tap. Waiting for the team too. Forsaken should be able to hear most of this. You can see that he's communicating it to his team right now. And unfortunately blinded, not quite able to all do all too much. Devai on the other side, a bit of a tap with the Phantom, but instantly traded. Spotted Excurit through Waterfall now, something. Wanting to take the duel, they know they have to watch out for Mount. Trades coming in, and the timer still ticking away. A bit more of a standard round as Jing alongside Mind Freak do their job at anchoring down this spike. T1 not able to retake. Mound hit here. Just gonna, they're just gonna push. Wow. Oh, I don't know how great this is gonna work out. Something able to trade off for Jing, but unfortunately that sheriff has been dropped. Excure now on the other side, marking Pillar. Able to capture onto Forsaken. Mind Freak on the other side with the classic. Just peeks out at the right time, but goes in for the reload. And Rossi just capitalizes. Something now with the swings, and all of a sudden, Rossi, cold and alone, feels the pressure, needs to get the spike down at the very least. He has the timing for it. He's gonna hear the footsteps, so. Less oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Something with the swing, just the widest peak. Strafes all the way over to the right. Let's divide. End it. That's hard, man. I mean, you know, you, you expect him to stop, right, at some point? Yeah. But he just keeps going. <laughs> you expect him to try to shoot back. You know, you got to stop to get the aim steady to this game. Devai is just waiting. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he yeah, knows it. We're having fun. That's all according to plan there. He's got some of these cages. He's got some trips. But is it going to be enough to deal with the full forces of T1? Saya with the Blast Pack Beak. Able to take him down. Oh, what? what? Something through the smoke. A bit of a skewer and two hits just get pierced. Now the three of them, uh, remaining T1 players, pushing down into defender spawn. Exger's got the operator, able to make use of it. He's trying to be vocal about what he needs. The rest of the team trying to come back into support, but Jake just with the patience to tap on the brakes a little bit, hide inside of this dark cover provided by Mind Freak, and sticking the defuse all the way through. Exger has to peek out, but that's just a punishment that you're afforded when Paper Rex takes you to school. Now that that rocket has been spent, the rest of Paper Rex are uh, thinking, let's rotate over to defend another sp uh, part of the map. Now that the dark cover comes up, though, Paper Rex definitely aware. The jump oh! peak. Can't do that too often now, but to five peaks out at the right time, slays two, looks for the third. One, two, and three. The fourth for Jay Paper X, nine to eight. You know, he's been so good on Sky for so long. Kind of I love like, to watch him play it. Kind of looks like Alex almost lost his No ride. way! Wow. At least Mind Freak managed to take him out midair, but great opening from Sky Player with the Rockets. Forsaken now peeks out off of it. Paper X presses the go signal along with the Seekers. Forsaken, two kills from that Phantom. Excurate, the only one left, comes back in to try to retrieve a spike, but he's got so many targets. There <laughs> is that Jing movement. What a return. Love it. Strong individual players all across, and yeah, everyone knows how to work off of it. This is why this team works so well. They've got the synergy, they've got the chemistry. Something wow. still safe enough. The door swung open. Forsaken finds his own frag. Spike dropped, and it's T1, you know, not able to quite commit into this. Over towards it, you still have the From the Shadows if things don't look great, but, and that's why I think part of the reason that Paper X is spreading the map like they are, but some of that attention paid over there. Sia Flare, fast kill onto something. Great punish. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, now they have to go in, but Mind Freak, he has been stepping up. He showed what he's capable of in Madrid, and now he's coming back in to collect on three more skulls. You need those protocols to carefully clear and check every single one of these bounds. First of all, tree going through. The paranoia has been sent out. Trade's one coming in, but remaining. look at the number of Spike reinforcements that Paper Rex has. Defy and Jing back in action. Paper Rex ends out the first map. This was T1's map pick, but Paper Rex just shows exactly how strong they are. Gonna be blocked off by the early cascade, though. Excurit having a different playstyle from his brother Forsaken, but how is that playstyle going to work out against a player just as aggressive? The entire team, something, Jing, everyone's flooding oh, in they never through the either. floodgates. Oh. oh, that was so close, dude. That was so close. But it's that toxic screen that allows them to walk straight through lamps, along with Poison Cloud, a bit of a hop over. But Jing has the right positions to play along with Paint Shells and the Outlaw. Swaps over the Classic. Collects onto the triple kill. A bit of a rampage and a tear for Paper X. Going for a hitter against that Poison Cloud. What? <laughs> Forsaken with the timing on it. Oh my goodness. Off of the sky smoke. He just goes in for the hat trick again and again. How many multi kills have we seen today from him? So with the ultimates available now, something just goes back into Rob even more away from T1. Pretty soon T1's going to have to. Uh, call in a timeout or something. Yep. They're losing confidence and, and not quite able to execute their plans any longer. Roxy might have the toxic screen up. They might be able to send out a bit of a trailblazer, but how do you collect on that space? Well, the answer is going to be Sia Player with the blast packs through. A bit of a frenzy. Needs to pick up a weapon. The anti flash. But yeah, Mind Freak just turns eight. away. Counter flash coming in now from Divine. And it's just the execution from Jing and Forsaken. The bromance is back. T1 manages to stick the spike plant, and now Sia player marking all of these corners. T1 going in with the rockets too, just to secure the round. Something's gonna try to make something happen, to turn things back around, but it's an operator. 
He's gonna have to isolate the duels. He's gonna have to do it as carefully as he can. Wow. Great punch into Excurit. Goes in for the spike tap. There's no idea that Izu is right back around the corner through showers. Smart rap. First back Has around now, but yeah, no time, not safe enough. Okay. And, and look at they've already rotated over them. Pro players. Got showers now. Taking down short. Divide, just a blind spray. Able to take down side player. No entries found. Carpe able to push up off of some utility. Heads lined up and he's still able to take down onto a second. Defy has to trade. Off of the, ooh, the use of the cast. Sneak down into the corner. Defy finds one more. Something he's gotten a triple. A. Something coming up from the other side. One enemy Spike remaining. slowly taken away, but Defy oh able to shut down yet another position. Here comes something. <laughs> I, I'm like trying to be professional about it, but I hear the crowd going ace, ace, ace. I, you know what was funny was I was watching Devai on the camera just to see his reaction, and he just kind of went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I, Devai is playing that was really well off the utility of his teammates in the movement. Like, Jing opens up that remaining. third kill on the U-Haul. Truthfully, Cerebral play. Uh, that cascade that he made use of to sneak up behind a lot of them close to ultimates. Even oh more so on the, uh, on the Paper X side. Now going back into investigate into this big area. You've got so many flashes being tossed out. It's a good textbook Paper X style strategy, but unfortunately the flashes do not favor them this time. They've lost out in this firefight. The real question is, did Jing get spotted tucking into this corner? Trying to make use of it all. A little bit nervous because of the Mosh Pit, but still able to recover nonetheless. Able to take down Excurit. Now, Paper X having recovered. Carpe down at 5 HP. It's going to be Sia Player with the op that brings them back into the equation. Can Forsaken do anything about this? Swings out wide in the open. Spike down Rossi was meant to cover, but unfortunately, Sight's death at the wrong time. He was trying to peek for info. So now using the cove just to mark that spike, high tide to block off even more space. Oh, but Zaya knows. He's anticipating this wrap. Gotta watch out for that op. Forsaken should know. Trigger discipline lets him pass for one second. Left. Comes back in just to isolate the duel. Reckoning being sent out. Senses that Zaya plays are, is not exactly right around the spike. But wow, picked it up at the right time. He hops on over. Zaya player might just be able to make it happen. But Forsaken quicker on the draw through the teleporter, shoots him back in the head. He turned around. Look at the set plan with the high tide. Covering all exits of the smoke, the wall as he falls. Curtis dropped and now Defy able to find the first. But as soon as the rest of the T1 players continue to peek out trying to trade, commit to it unless they spot more. Using the boom bot now, but Saiyan player lands a great shot. Jing recovering off of it. One second to check. Got a little spray. That's the first hit to fall. Paper X backs off, just coming in to reinforce. Great shot from something. Right clicks, Forsaken with the sprays. Saiyan player through the back side, able to find one, but Forsaken just finding all e and even more. The showstopper there. Right. Dives right back into himself. Divide trying to keep them at bay. High tide as well, just for added cover. Sight cut in half now, but then there's that additional thrash. Oh, Paper X this time prepared for it. They knew that they were going to try to play around that gecko. They knew that they were going to try to play around you know, lamps in some of these spots on the map. Right, all it takes is Jing finding one off the back of these seekers. Look at them, they're scattering. They are just go. going to the wind. Jing going to set up for it. But he's hanging on to it. We've got showers control too. Here goes. It connects onto Rossi. Carpe though swings out at the right time. There's a bit of a trade. Something along with the Empress too stays alive. Saya player still into the fray though, along uh -oh. with its operator. Does not expect Forsaken from behind. There's that additional layer. Paper X. This is dangerous. Desperately trying to push themselves into a third map, but Mind Freak does not allow them through and spike carrier dropped as well i think but they're kind of waiting mm. anticipating 
a grab of the spike and a rotate. They still haven't shifted anywhere else but showers. Now they're going with that cold there. <laughs> great hold for Mind Freak. Might as well let them sweat. Sad play with a great dink, though. 30 seconds left. So comes back in. 30 seconds left. Spike still dropped out in the open. It's cold. Rossi tries to ca capture a little bit more space now. Trying to set up for something with his utility, but Jin catches him off the timing. Oh! <laughs> Double satchel up on top of truck. Hello! Right up over the edge. <laughs> That's the most Jin thing ever. He's at 41 HP, and your opponent's like, well, there's no way he's going to push me because he's low health. He's going to wait. No, nope, I am going to push you. Uh, yeah. And he's just unbelievable. Ooh. Hello. So fast, too. It's nice. He's, the, the quickness with which, with which he reacts when he lands to stuff is brilliant. There's nobody that really does it as well as him throughout this map. Look at Mind Freak, though, checking on the, the Lurk. They Mind have to Freak. clear. It's Rossi. pivotal. Still staying tucked away. Excrit marking him. Device starts things off as he finds and discovers Saya player. This could be it. Poison's off. Rossi slowly pushing up front now, but the marking. Two of them all together, all at once. Paid for a Rex. It's another overtime, but it ends just as quick as it starts. 14 to 12. T1 will not be able to make it past Paper Rex today. Looking rather good for Paper Rex. T1 still keeping pace, still showing that they can fight tooth and nail with Paper Rex, but they are still yet to take a map against them.